friend. Here you go, brother. Damon. <laughs> Long time no see. How Eric? you been? Good, man. Good to see you again. Yeah. Welcome back to the Brody Show, by the way. Got my friend Damon on here. Fellow disc golfer. Loving yep. life. Great positive guy. Yep. Loving it. Been game changing lately. So, first off, he was explaining some crazy stuff about, I don't know if anyone lives close, close to Austin, Texas, or in Round Rock, but apparently there's a graveyard. <laughs> A.W. Grimes yeah. is bringing everything you know in Austin all comes together in this graveyard. Bring it up real quick. All right. Well, here's the deal. We've been doing some ghost hunting here recently. And it looks like down at the other end of East Palm Valley, there's a church. And we do the little history, uh, little, uh, I guess a little history investigating, and found out that this church was in the mid-1800s, and it's called the Palm Valley Lutheran Church. Well... It's also oh, noted man, to be uh, very, very haunted. Well, it has a big graveyard with no fence around it whatsoever, which is crazy to me. But anyway, no it fence around the graveyard. No fence at all. What the hell? Yeah, and it was built, like I said, in the mid 1800s, 1860s, and back then it was made out of wood. Everything in the building, and then it was tore down and rebuilt in more, you know advanced or modern uh, times wow. and so it's a beautiful church now yeah. but still the cemetery is just very old i mean there's up to 180 year old graveyards there our graves there 180 year old 180 graves yeah, almost 200 they probably years. flooded a few times so through the just dam. past the finding of our forefathers it yeah. starts this graveyard starts holy hell so there's some old ghosts there anyway long story short yeah here's the deal we go out there one night first time in fact it was 2015 the friday night the night before halloween yeah. if you remember the night before halloween oh was God. huge rainstorm yeah. it was bad weather you say you're so, thinking about going out right somewhere. nobody was doing anything so me and my friends a couple of buddies from work which actually is a, a kind of boyfriend girlfriend couple yeah and they're friends of mine and so the three of us kind of team up and we go do this together so we're the ones that went out there, but first we went to Torchies. I actually had a couple mm. of tacos, mm. a few beers. Torchies. And then we started going, okay, you know what? We got a buzz. <laughs> Just down the street, there's a graveyard. What do we go for? it? First time. Oh, God. Okay, here's where it gets very real, dude, because at that point, they're both going, yeah, okay, we're in. Let's go. So we did. We had a couple more beers, and we cruised down this. there. No, listen, check it out. It's perfect. <laughs> we go down there. And it's literally not even a mile north of it. So right at OSP, Old Sellers yeah, Park. Yeah. Okay, just Disc before golf that. Out there. Beautiful church. Just you see the steeple. It, yeah. Big steeple. So anyway, we go out the there. Steeple, a whole bunch of dead people around. And, yeah. <laughs> I like that. That was good. That was good. That's your 80-year-old dead people. <laughs> it was like the what was that? Uh, yeah. All the all the dead people. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, um, so we get out there and we decided to split up. Yeah. Well, actually, they kind of teamed up together and went off to they're one side of the graveyard. To, yeah, they were over there trying to right, smooch. So I'm trying to set it up for you guys. I take off. I'm by myself. And so I go this side. I am fucking ripped, okay? <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'm blitzed. We've been yeah. Yeah, drinking all night. So yeah, anyway. Yeah, has got to be blitzed. I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so we're out there, and it's kind of interesting because <clears throat> there's like these plots. It's not just a graveyard. It's like big squares of cement, and within that, there's a family, and there's a bunch of those. Oh, okay, yeah. so it's almost they're like they cool, would, but they're yeah, they would buy plots for your it. family prior yeah. to your death. You know, yeah, of course. Yeah, I think parents doing that. Yeah, anybody does that. So back then, they used to do it like that. I mean, literally, some of these graves today, right now, if you went out there right now tonight, <laughs> they have the the guardrails over the grave so that when they would lower the casket yeah. down into the hole off of those rails and then you know they pull the ropes up and everybody goes home yeah they left the rails up on two of these different graves what? <laughs> on purpose or is it a, a decorative thing eric i wasn't there I <laughs> you wasn't there i don't days. know i wish i was there and if stop I was creeping there, me out man i would be able to answer that yeah. question were they old rusty like 180 year old they're yeah they're very oh my old goodness. but they're authentic and it's very cool yeah, so cool. it's historical I mean, those things are at least 100 years old, or let's say at least 80, you know? It, so anyway, I got yeah, the subject. Yeah, A.W. Grimes, sorry about that. <laughs> right, right, right. So we go out there. This is the night before, big rainstorm, night before Halloween. Go out there, have a great time. So I ended up going off by myself. Yeah. I've got 
a chance to do an EVP because you can get an app, you know, and just go, okay, give me voice recognizer or voice uh, recorders they have. And so you start asking questions. You know, you look at the tombstones and see what the name is. Try to call them out. And call them out. Well, I actually have, well. <laughs> by chance, my very first attempt to do so, we actually got very lucky. Now, I don't know if you can hear it through this mic, but we're going to give it a try, okay? When you press play, put it close. We're going to yeah. check this out, because I'm skeptical so, about ghosts. They scare, they scare me. I don't know if they're real or not, but we're about to find out. Let's see what we get. Okay. Is there anything else to say? I think that's about it. So A.W. and Grimes uh, and that stuff will come back, too. Exactly. That's true. We'll come back to that. Historic so this Boston. is a family. Like I said, there was these different plots. And so this one is called the Israelson family. Kind of an interesting, unusual yeah. name, right? Very yeah. unique. So when I came Out across it, I started naming off these different family members there. But it was probably about eight or ten different people in this plot. Wow. Okay, yeah. M Israel women, men, girls, and boys. There was a boy and a girl. But the one I start talking to, his name, you'll hear me talk about it. His name is Gustav. Gustav. And when I start talking about Gustav, I don't want you to listen to my voice, but I want you to try to listen to what's happening behind my voice. While you're talking. And that's where you're going to hear people talking. Sketch City. And I swear to God, I was all by myself. Nobody there. Sketch. And this is about... 12, yeah, 15 you, at night. Okay, yeah, I know yeah, you want to let me. A little after midnight. I'm, pre I'm prepared. Okay. Let's, so let's do this. So Point towards that mic. I'm ready. Okay. I'm scared. Oh, God. This is Gustav. Israelson. Gustav, are you here? What was that? <laughs> Listen. They're having a conversation. What? Yeah. And at the time, I never heard that. Nope. I never knew I even got that. Dude, check I'm this scared. out. When I left that moment right then, I just now cut it off on purpose because I didn't know if I was getting anything. I didn't hear any of that conversation at all at that moment. And then I go home, my friends and I say, okay, after about 30 minutes more of this, let's go home and just check our, our you know, recording, yeah, see, see if, you, if we got anything. That's usually how it works. And we'll communicate. Yeah. So we go home and, of course, do it. And I had it. Sketch. Yeah. Oh. That's crazy. All right. So at. And that's a first attempt ever. And that was right before Halloween 2015, Friday night, the night before, middle of the freaking storm. In fact, that graveyard was full of water. We were walking around wet. Oh. It was crazy, but it was definitely worth it. That sounds so... Isn't that what awesome? Was, what, so, who's buried there? You told me A.W. Grimes. Okay, let's back up. Be... Let me tell you, this, this graveyard we just spoke about, this is <sighs> session one, chapter one. My hair was right. Yeah, no. Um, it's crazy, but this was the Lutheran church that's right down just south of... Um, of Old Settlers Park, and All it's right. called uh, Palm Valley Lutheran Church. All right. So that's the story about that. Okay. Now we're going to move to the single oldest church, uh, excuse me, the oldest graveyard in Round Rock, and yeah. that is the Round Rock Graveyard. Well, if anybody knows the history for Round Rock is that we have two really incredible individuals, one very bad and one very good, that made you know marks in history here in Round Rock. And A.W. Grimes, as the name of the road, was our local sheriff at the time. Yeah. Yeah, A.W. Grimes was a good guy. Mr. A.W. Yeah, he was, he was a good guy. Sounds Family like guy, goodness. took care of people. He was the local sheriff. He was, people came to him. And uh, <clears throat> he was taking care of the, 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 the town of Round Rock for years, is what I understand, like four or five, since he got elected. Oh, wow. But the thing is, is that <laughs> one day when Sam Bass decided he wanted to come into town, and he heard about it, he met up with him at the border and said, hey, you can't come into town. And he goes, well, I'm coming in. He goes, were you carrying any guns? And so that's when Sam Bass pulled out his gun and shot A.W. Grimes oh, dead. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Wow. 
after four or right. five years of holding the place down. Just, yeah, exactly. That's Out one way to be a badass. One guy comes in, yeah. To come in, and then isn't he though? So Sam, Bass? Sam Bass was coming in from like Oklahoma and from up north. Yeah, and so he came in. He decided to take over Round Rock. And whatever happened to Sam Bass? <laughs> <laughs> a short time thereafter, as he came into the town and started a big fight, big fuss, he was shot dead. Oh, my God. Probably by a fellow friend of the Well, here's the ironic thing, though. Eric, there was only one graveyard in Round Rock at the time. At the time? Yeah. (laughs) Where A.W. was at? Guess what happened? A.W. was already buried in Round Rock graveyard. Right there off Sam Bass Road, which is (laughs) ironic. And that's kind of a slap in the face. Yeah. Off Sam Bass Road. Oh, man. And then Sam Bass is killed. The man who just murdered A.W. Grimes days before... Is also buried there, about a hundred feet away. That's rough, dude. That's some serious old school cowboy oh shit. You know that was saving. We that went was out saving there. tourism. You can go to the same spot to see both. Yeah, right. Holy I hell. Mean, we went out there. I mean, it's a it's a reasonably decent sized small town graveyard. Yeah. I mean, they have a section. It's actually sectioned off in three ways. I'm not sure what the details are, but there is a, a slave section that's been there for years. Wow. And, the upper part. and so if you oh pull God. in, you'll see these graveyard or these graves in different ways. So, yeah. I mean, A.W. Grimes has a monument that's this big. What about Sam Beasy? Well, his is about, oh, you know, it's like this. Oh, my God. So the <laughs> sheriff gets marked. Buried in this graveyard, and then the guy that marked him gets killed. Some badass Jesse James. <laughs> Buried 100 feet away, and some slaves from back in the day buried yeah, in that graveyard. Yeah, it's just right. right there along the side. Well, that's a museum itself. I mean, that's like a history tour. Yeah. And you're out there in the middle of the night? <sighs> out there it, recording it for serious. ghosts, you yeah. crazy-ass Damon? <laughs> God. Yeah, the only thing I got was bit by ants. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst. Damn. It was alive. It wasn't dead. That was it. That's hilarious. Yeah. Man. So, very cool. So I'm very interested. It's it's been fun, but you gotta. Yeah. It's like shitty weather right now, so kind of maybe in a couple of months we'll kick back in, start doing some more stuff, and I'll come back and visit with you again. Yeah, you can get back into the disc golf, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Playing disc golf. As There's much a little as possible. thing tomorrow morning. You going to that? Yeah. Early bird there, special. Early bird special. Any Austin people come play some disc golf with us every it's weekend? Tomorrow morning, North 9 Austin, baby. Nine a.m. Southsiders. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about the hipster stuff. But thanks for coming by, Damon. Mm-hmm. Thanks for watching The Brody Show. And remember to follow, like us online, and you'll catch us on iTunes soon, I promise. Peace. Peace. Appreciate it. Bye. Bye.